Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to my channel Heaven's Light and hope all of my friends are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. In my previous video, we have learned how to make a single core photonic crystal fiber using Comsol Multiphysics. And in this video, I will learn you how to make a dual core photonic crystal fiber using Comsol Multiphysics. As I have already shown how to make this structure, so in this video I will not discuss it in details and in this video I will recap it within 2 minutes. For this, first of all we need to go in definition and under this definitions we will found parameters and here the parameters are defined these parameters are used for making this structure so friend now we need to go in component and uh, when we go in component then we will find definitions geometry and we will go in geometry and now i will show you how i have make this uh, structure for this This is the first air hole and the second air hole. As we have learned already in previous video how to make it, but now uh, I have just recap it. So I will show you it very first. In my previous video, I did not use the ellipse and here I have used ellipse and for this ellipse, uh, I have declared in parameter section dx and dy and here I have used the large axis, uh, large semi axis is dx by 2 and the small semi axis is dy by 2. Then build it and the next is here I will go in the last air hole and build it then we can see this hexagonal structure has made and uh, we have noticed that if we delete this air hole then it will, will produce single core and in this video as we need to make a dual core photonic crystal fibers so we will do these two air holes are delete then how can you get this delete entities option for this you need to go in geometry and you will find delete entities and uh, if you notice then you can see that here is the option boundary but you need to make it object then you need to select uh, which you want to delete but as i have already used uh, delete entities so i will delete it and i have 
take the PML portion from this um, under the component you will find definition and if you uh, click on definition then you will find perfectly matched layer which I have already uh, take, uh, taken so you need to go in perfectly matched layer and uh, make the cylindrical instead of Cartesian now we need to select the material in my previous video I have already shown how to uh, how to take a material but if you are a new learner then for you I will show it again you need to click on material then you will find add material option blank material option and if you click on add material option then you will find like this option and where you can search material uh, like edge here and you will search it then you can click on built-in option and here we can see that uh, we found uh, this air material and if we click on air then we will uh, we will find this type of option and we need to click on add to selection and as i have already taken this i need to delete and in this way you need to take this material and you need to select where these are the uh, air holes and next I have used second material where, where the refractive index is denoted by N silica uh, if we go in parameters then we can see here we have used uh, the refractive index of silica and denoted uh, it by n silica this is called selmer equation this is the selmer equation so now we will back go back in material if we go in mesh then we can see this type of option where i have taken the element size is finer and build it we need to go in mode analysis and if we go in mode analysis then we can see uh, here is the mode analysis frequency sequenced by lambda and uh, lam the value of lambda is 1.55 micrometer and we have taken the desired number is 10 and the search mode is 1.398 and after that we will compute it For computing it will take uh, some time and we need to wait for some moment friend I think uh, to make a dual core photonic crystal fiber is easier to you if you know how to make a, a single core photonic crystal fiber
here we can see that light has confined in the core this is the first core and this is the second core and uh, we have find some mode index and we can take it we can also take it so friend from this tutorial we can learn how to make a dual core photonic crystal fiber using console multiphysics so friend if you like this video please subscribe my channel and do a comment in the comment section i will try to solve your problem so friend stay home stay safe thank you